So I am super excited again to be here with you and my focus is always to help you get more traffic, to grow your email list and to really just build a brand that will put you in the position to make money. So over the course of this workshop, we are going to be focusing on five things. And those five things are your brand, your content, your traffic, your email list and your sales, particularly your um, automated sales funnels. Now, as you learn more about me, you'll know that I'm all about doing things passively. So passive income and setting up systems that allow you to make money on autopilot. So that means that you are making money, you are generating sales, even when you are not actively selling. And when I was coming up with this webinar, the entire focus was on how to help you really set the right foundation so that if you have everything in place for the new year that this is really going to help you to generate the um, the monthly income that you want to with your blog so some of you may be saying oh my gosh you know ten thousand dollars a month eight thousand dollars a month twenty five thousand dollars a month um sounds like a lot i can't even make you know five dollars with my blog but let me break down what five figures a month actually is and give you a visual of what that looks like because at the end of the day, if you wanna make $10,000 a month, you need to know what that really looks like, right? And here's the deal. If you can make $100, you can make 1,000, and if you can make 1,000, you can make 10,000. And it's all about setting up the foundation and it's all about the systems that you have in place that allow you to scale to that type of income. And just a side note, there is nothing that any of these other you know six and seven figure bloggers have or know that is more special or more valuable um, than what you have to share with the world so the difference is really going to be in the formula in which you build and promote your business and that is what we are going to break down today so five figures um at the least is ten thousand dollars a month in sales and there are a few ways to get there. So you can have a $1,000 product or program or service, okay? And that means that you need to make 10 sales a month. You need to get 10 people to purchase from you. Okay, that's gonna give you $10,000. And you can do this through masterminds, okay, coaching programs. You can do one-on-one -on -one or, or group coaching programs. You can have consulting services. Um, I do a lot of content um, consulting for other big brands and bloggers. So I help them create their content, create their information products, and that type of um, work can come with a premium price. You can also set up um, done for you type services. So copywriting, sales funnel creation, content creation, marketing services, and things of that nature. So um, work for hire. You can also create online courses, okay? And weekend intensives or local retreats. Okay, so if you have a $100 product, okay, so let's say that you're not necessarily high ticket, but you want to have somewhere around a hundred dollar um, product, ninety-seven dollar, ninety-nine dollar product a month, or um, ninety-nine dollar product. Then you need a hundred people to purchase from you, and that'll give you ten thousand dollars. Okay, you can do online courses at a hundred dollars, master classes. You can do um, live workshops. Okay, again, you can do auditing, um, consulting type services, and membership service, monthly membership services as well. Okay, now if you have a $10, if you're on the low end, <laughs> okay, you're going to need a lot of sales. But here it is. You need a thousand people to make a product or make a purchase from you at the $10 product. Okay, so that's a lot of people, which means that you have to be generating a ton, a ton of traffic. Um, to get those type of conversions. So I'll show you how to make this a little bit easier, but um, you always want to keep this in mind. And that's why knowing your numbers is so important because then you can adjust your pricing or you can adjust your marketing plan so that you get the amount of people or you have your product priced at the, um, at the right price point that's going to make it easier for you to be able to generate that type of income. Okay, so again, eBooks are around this 
this price point, you can do paid webinars or webinar replays. You can do um, digital planners and journals. You can even sell a physical book at um, these lower end prices. And you can do like say a monthly membership. So if you were doing say a $10 a month or $9.99 um, a, a month type membership, where you're offering content or videos of some type of training tutorials um, through a private membership site, then this would be an option for you to be able to generate recurring income every single month, okay? So, obviously, you can see that at the $10,000 um, a month product, that it only takes 10 sales to get to 10,000. And at the $100 product, it takes 100 people. And with the $10 product, it's going to take 1,000 people to actually get to your income goal. So as a brand, which we'll talk more about in just a moment, you have to decide where you want your pricing to be, where you want your pricing sweet spot to be. And if you don't or haven't already done so, what I want you to really start thinking about is um, if you want your brand to be a Maserati, a Mercedes, or a Mazda type brand. So what does that mean? Okay, obviously Maserati's high end, Mercedes a little bit higher end um, than the lower end, which would be a Mazda. Okay, so you have your super high end, you have your mid range, and then you have your lower ticket. And what I suggest that you do is that you actually have multiple products at various price points, okay? Because this is the deal. If you have a brand that talks about, say, frugal living or how to be thrifty, then it will be really hard to turn around and sell a $1,000 product or a $5,000 product when your audience is probably looking to actually save money or they are in the mindset of finding cheaper alternatives. And then vice versa, if you have a luxury lifestyle brand, you probably will be attracting an audience who can afford and may be willing to invest more money into what they perceive as higher end type products and services, okay? So that's why it's important that you, number one, you need to know your audience, and then you need to know what price point is going to resonate with them. Once you have an idea of the type of money that you want to make, you have to set up your business in a way that makes it easier to deliver that type of income to your bank account. So let's talk about that first pillar. Okay, the first step to achieving your five figure a month income goal is actually building a brand that is worthy of the money that you want to make. Okay, I'm going to say that again. The first step to achieving your five figure a month income goal is to actually build a brand that is worthy of the money you want to make. Okay, so you're going to need three things. You're going to need a unique vision. You're going to need a unique voice, a unique visual style, and you're going to put all of these together and you have what's called brand value. Okay, so let's break these down in just a second. So your vision is um, your vision actually represents your unique mission. What it is that you're about. What do you um, stand for? What are your, um, your goals in terms of helping others? What is it that you do that is going to um, help serve and support the audience that you are trying to help? Your voice is, you know, the tone, the language, and the personality behind your vision. You know, some people are real bubbly and, and sparkly and have high energy. Other people, they have a little bit more of a low-key type of personality or more serious type of personality. So you have to think that whatever type of voice or um, tone or language that you use, you want to make sure that that is the type of um, voice that is um, resonating or will connect with your ideal person. So if you're super sarcastic and you already have, and you always have something smart to say, then that might rub people <laughs> the wrong way. And then vice versa, vice versa, other people may be attracted to real high energy, um, super boisterous, um, really loud um, type personalities. And those are the type of people that you're going to attract. So you just want to make sure that your tone and your voice actually match what your brand is um, 
projecting okay the brand identity that you want to create okay next is your visuals okay your goal is to create a visual style that's uniquely and undeniably you okay your job as a business owner or a blogger is to really paint a picture of a better life you want to be the example of what is possible for your perfect fit fan when they actually level up okay so when they start implementing the things that you're teaching they expect to have a certain you know to achieve a certain result and you as a business owner as a blogger as an expert okay who is the one who is coaching and teaching and informing and entertaining you have to be the expert okay and you have to present yourself that way you have to paint that picture that people say okay that is what i aspire to be so the better you are at painting that picture the better success you are going to have so you want to make sure that in order to paint a picture of success that you have a few things you want to be clear about the problems that you solve for your audience okay you want to be clear about the ways that you solve those problems and you want to be clear about the end result so you want to make sure that you are portraying, portraying a picture of the transformation okay and not just highlighting the features or the steps along the way the process okay because people when they are looking to purchase something they're looking at the end result how can this make me better how can this make me happier how can this eliminate a problem that i'm having okay your goal is to infuse the end result okay which is your brand value into every single thing that you do into your content into the stories that you tell into your appearance and how you show up online into your imagery and um, your your visuals you also want to infuse the end result into your lifestyle as a blogger okay so how do you do this you want to be mindful of the company that you keep this includes clients and colleagues and your connections both online and offline okay in this super hyper connected age of the internet these connections or the connections that you establish within your industry in particular these represent your brand you are associated with and who your audience sees you associating with can really make a huge impression on whether people like you whether people trust you or even decide to buy from you so you want to be mindful of what your associations say about you and be mindful of the people that you attract okay we all know that term birds of a feather flock together okay so get around some other people who can help you to establish a sense of um trust with between between you and your audience okay because they know that if you are working with partnering with collaborating with um other successful bloggers or entrepreneurs then by association then you are successful your audience will see you as successful the next thing that you want to do is you want to establish an excellent body of work and you always want to over deliver over deliver over deliver okay for people to want to work with you for people to want to purchase your products they have to see that you can deliver the goods in a way that no one else can and when you do great work it really does speak for itself you should be collecting you know client testimonials on a regular basis you should be sharing them on your social media platforms and a lot of times people won't even consider buying your stuff until they know that other people are buying it too okay that's just the way the cookie crumbles so you want to make sure that everything that you do that you're giving it your best that you're over delivering and people will start to talk about that and when people start to talk about you in a positive way then you know it's going to spread like wildfire and people who are new to your brand they may not necessarily even um, have been following you for a long time but because they know that other people trust know and like you then they are going to trust know and like you as well okay and it's, it provides less risk in their mind 
for them to be able to invest in you and buy your products okay all of this stuff is foundational pieces that's going to really help you make um, more money it's going to make it easier for you to make sales when it comes time for you to promote okay so the next thing is that you have to look and act as if you are already successful if you're trying to build a brand where you want people to take you seriously and spill and spend money with you you need to invest in a professional website and marketing materials that represent your brand well you can't look like a mom and pop shop if you're trying to play you know with with the big dogs if you are trying to do something spectacular you cannot look as if you are an amateur so the next thing that you want to do is you want to be creative you want to be consistent and you always want to stay top of mind you want to be visible you have to continue marketing your brand and your business constantly and consistently okay the old adage out of sight out of mind is truer now than ever because people have a million and one choices when it comes to what they have access to particularly on the internet so if you cannot you know deliver then they are just going to simply go to the next Google result and search for you know and and look at someone else's content look at someone else's products look at someone else's um, social media platforms and all of that so you want to make sure that you are doing things that's going to allow you to um, stand out so you got to get that creative juice um, flowing so that you can differentiate yourself from the crowd then lastly the last thing that's going to help you to create um, huge brand value is that you want to build a brilliant team and you want to have smart systems around you okay so if you want to build a successful brand you have to plan for it and you have to prepare a space for that blessing okay this means that you should be working on and building and establishing the right systems and the right support even before you need them okay it is key to make sure that you have the right infrastructure in place to manage your business so picking out colors and logos and pretty graphics that's the easy part you guys and we can talk about that um, you know all day long but that's not the thing that's necessarily going to convert you know a casual scroller or subscriber into a uh, into a sale into a customer okay it really is about um, the essence the experience that your brand um, represents that is really going to determine if people are going to be buying what it is that you are selling so over the break and I'll break down this um, at the end when we do a major recap of all of the content that I'm going to be sharing with you but what I want you to start doing particularly now when you have some downtime and it's the holidays and you're gonna have some days off of work and all of those things I want you to start doing some research you know seek out five to seven top blog bosses in your niche okay regardless of whatever niche you're in there are people who are doing um, things right and doing things successfully figure out who those people are and then check out their website see what they are posting on Instagram and Facebook study how they are putting their content together um, and what it is that makes them stand out when you are a student you begin to pick up the little subtleties of what differentiates the big players from everyone else okay so how do you deliver all of this brand value to your audience so it starts with your content so all of the things that you're sharing to get your products and your services and your brand in front of other people that is content your earning potential isn't determined solely by the number of subscribers and followers that you have but it's also determined by the level of engagement that you are able to generate okay the niche that you cater to and the revenue streams that you explore so that's not to say that having the attention of a large audience or a large list of subscribers does not matter because it does and I'll show you how to gain more subscribers in just a few but the place where you are going to really be able to cash in begins and ends with the type of content that you create okay that means creating amazing content content people actually enjoy reading watching or listening okay this is key to you being able to make more money
okay if you want to make money with a blog with your blog you always want to keep in mind that your content is your cash so that means every blog post content upgrade instagram picture or youtube tutorial that you create should lead into a future sale okay purposeful content equals profitable content and whenever i create anything i always think about the end results where is it that i want to take the person who is ingesting or consuming this piece of content. So what's the next step for them? You wanna have that in your mind. So let me share with you what I call my content flow formula. Okay, so each year I focus on promoting about three to four major info products or courses. And going into 2018, my pillar um, information products or my pillar courses are going to be um, this blog means business, Pin It Perfect, which is a Pinterest um, course, um, a Rehab Your Brand, which obviously is a branding course, and then I'm going to be launching my new um, Mastermind membership. So anything else that I create will be secondary um, to those to those primary or those main products, okay? What I like to call my money multiplier products. So they're kind of like filler products that help you to um, sell when you're not necessarily focusing on launching um, your larger courses. So, but anyways, but let me share with you the process that I go through whenever I create a piece of content. And what I do is I basically work backwards based on the products that I will be, be promoting at the time. So this is why going into 2018, you need to have a clear idea of what it is that you want to promote throughout the entire year because this is going to help you lay out and map out a plan that will allow you to then create content that's focused on driving people ultimately to those um, pillar or flagship products. Okay, so let's say that I want to launch my course, Rehab Your Brand. Now, the first thing that I want to do, obviously, is create that product. The next thing that I want to do is I am going to create or put together what's called a tripwire that is related to my flagship product. Okay, a tripwire is a one-time offer where you can basically entice your new subscriber to purchase a product at a steep discount. So it's like a super irresistible offer. Okay, you want to make it so irresistible that it basically is a no-brainer for your subscriber to go ahead and invest in it, to buy it. Okay, so when someone comes onto a blog post and they see the content upgrade and they say, oh, that looks amazing, I want that, they're gonna click the link, a opt-in box is gonna pop up and they're gonna put in their name and they are going to put in their email address and instead of being redirected to a page that um, gives them the direct download, instant access to the download, they are going to be redirected to a one-time offer page that invites them to purchase the brand bundle, okay, that's the product, the Tripwire product, for only $27, okay? And this is something that I would normally charge $97 or $147 for, okay, if it was at an original price. So this offer is only available for 24 hours, but you can, if you want, set your time for 15 minutes, five days, two weeks, whatever. And I'll walk you through how to set up your own tripwire um, later on in this webinar, but this is a game changer and it's a money multiplier that every single blogger should implement into their marketing strategy, okay? So the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna create your freebie, okay? Step three, creating your freebie. So this could be an action sheet um, it can be an action sheet that you use in your main primary information course, or it can be one of the things that um, you know I like to do is I like to take my course outline and I'll create a checklist of all the key steps or the processes that I talk about in my course. So for my Rehab Your Brand course, what I can do is I can create a freebie or a content upgrade, which I did, that is the Rehab Your Brand 24 hour checklist, okay, which is one of my content upgrades that I actually created. Then you want to add a call to action within that freebie that invites readers to take advantage of your paid offer.
okay so the next thing that you want to do is you want to create what's called your pillar post and what I like to do is I like to outline five to six keyword rich and SEO optimized blog posts that I can write over the course of you know a few months that will continuously help me to promote and get this content upgrade and therefore my um, one-time offer in front of new subscribers okay and in front of new traffic so number one your pillar post is going to attract the type of people who would most be interested in the product or the service that you're selling and number two it's going to highlight the topics that i'm teaching already in my course so basically all i'm doing is because i already created my information product my product first everything else is just going to be a repurpose of the content that i already created okay so that's why i like to start with creating the product and then working backwards because basically all I have to do now is pull from my course to create all the other elements or the pieces of content that I'm going to need to promote that course. Okay, you got it? So number five is you're gonna create your social content. So once you have your blog post created, you are going to create short social media snippets, Instagram stories, pinnable um, images for Pinterest, or even YouTube tutorials that attract your perfect fit fan and then drive those people toward your content upgrade and your email list with a focused and strong call to action, which invites them to learn more about what it is that you do and they can get more information or more content from you, okay? Your free content, your blog posts, your promotional content, your videos are simply teasers to what your audience can come to expect from you and your products and services. So, so like I said, going back to um, when you're building your brand, you always want to create content with excellence, okay? Because this is going to be a precursor to what it is that they can expect when they um, grab or purchase your product okay so let's just recap the key to maximizing your profits is that you are going to have a strong call to action every single step of the way helping you turn your free content into cash all right now moving on to the third pillar okay this is the third thing that you are going to need to have in place in order to profit from your blog you are going to need to drive massive traffic to your blog site to your content upgrades to your sales pages okay and the way to do this is through pinterest okay you need two things to make money with your blog you guys two things you need the right people and you need the right products okay it all starts with traffic okay in my opinion the fastest and the easiest way to drive traffic to your blog is with pinterest okay pinterest is my go-to i really don't know why more bloggers and online entrepreneurs do not use you know pinterest maybe it's not as sexy as instagram or you know youtube or facebook but when you start using pinterest and you start seeing the traffic that it generates um, for your blog i mean you are going to really be all in so why should you grow your business and blog with pinterest businesses bloggers influencers corporations they're all using pinterest to build their email list and build their subscribers okay they're using it to sell more products and services they're using it to build their authority and influence they're using Pinterest to connect with other brand partners and build relationships with other influencers. Okay, they're also using um, Pinterest to generate content ideas that target your perfect fit fans to boost their SEO and to grow their traffic or to grow their followers on other social media platforms, okay, cross-promoting. So it's been proven, okay, so this is not something that I'm just making up, that people are not just on Pinterest, you know, collecting recipes and exercises, but they are really spending money, okay? They're seeking inspiration, they are um, creating um, wish lists, and they're actually coming back and purchasing products that they have um, found on Pinterest, 
okay so Pinterest is the pain platform so Pinterest is one platform where your content is never going to get old and when you can really leverage more of your content and your content is constantly driving traffic to your site week in and week out month in month out and even years after you publish it you can see how powerful that can be for generating long-term sustainable profits okay so you can see here just by this chart that pinterest is evergreen okay it's something where your content is going to last for a long long time and it's going to continue to be able to um, get in front of your target audience for months and even years to come so how do you actually promote your pinterest content okay number one you want to optimize your blog for pinterest okay you want to make sure that your site is fast you want to make sure that you add a pinnable image to each blog post and that you add the Pinterest save button to make it easier for readers to actually pin that content. Okay, you wanna add social media icons to your web pages, particularly your home page, and you want to direct, um, you want a direct share bar to your website. You also want to be able to embed individual pins or boards within your blog sidebar or within your blog post. This just gives your Pinterest content more play. So it gives another um, space on your blog where people can say, oh, she's on Pinterest, let me check out her boards or let me check out her pins, okay? Number two, you want to encourage your audience to join you on Facebook. And you want to add a Pinterest tab on your Facebook page so that that allows you to connect your followers to your Pinterest account okay so a lot of you may have been on Facebook or currently are on Facebook and you have a nice following okay leverage that following by inviting people to follow you on Pinterest as well okay the same thing with YouTube and the same thing with Twitter and Instagram cross promote okay you want to promote your pins on your Facebook page and you can do it uh, what I like to call a pin it later or a pin of the week and basically all that you're doing is you're going to make a post that you are going to publish on Facebook, but it is going to be, um, the link is going to be of a particular pin that you want to share. So this is going to allow you to promote your Pinterest page on Facebook. Okay, and you also want to leverage Facebook groups that focus on Pinterest strategies and offer promotional opportunities. So I'm a part of a few key Facebook groups that I think work very well for me and um, you know my niche and they allow me to um, promote within those Facebook groups. Some groups have specific days where you can promote on Pinterest. Some groups you can promote um, Monday through Sunday. Okay, so just simply search um, Facebook groups that have um, some promotional opportunities and get in there and start promoting your stuff, okay? So number three, you wanna, like I said before, cross promote on other social media sites. Okay, you wanna share your pins on Twitter. You wanna use um, strong calls to action in your YouTube videos. You wanna connect Pinterest to your social media accounts whenever possible, okay? Number four, you wanna include top pins in your email marketing, okay? That means that you wanna encourage your customers to join you on Pinterest. Include all of your social media icons in your email signatures and newsletters and you want to include your top pins and boards in your email marketing campaigns. Okay, these are the little things that make a big difference because when you put it all together, it creates a massive momentum shift that allows you to really start generating um, the following and the traffic that you need to make the money that you want okay so this is why i'm meticulously going in detail over all of these things that you need to do you guys so number five you also want to promote more of what works okay if you cannot track and measure your success and your failures okay accurately how will you know if something is working or not okay you want to make sure that you are keeping track of all of um, the successes that you're having in all of the failures make note of what's not working so you can stop doing those things okay 
So how do you do this? You can use Pinterest analytics to keep track of your pin performance. Okay, your repins and your click throughs. Okay, and these are things that you can create or um, track not just on Pinterest, but you can track your Facebook insights. You can track with Instagram. All of these um, platforms have insights that is going to allow you to see um, how you are performing on these particular social media networks. You can use Google Analytics to track your page views and which blog posts are performing the best and just simply create more of what's working and less of what's not. So moving on, we're moving to number four, okay? This is the fourth pillar in getting your blog to five figures a month. Number four, you wanna take care of your number one asset. What's your number one asset? Your number one asset is your email list, okay? So let me share with you a little formula. Your income equals the number of subscribers that you have on your list times 0 0.02, that's 2%, okay, 0 0.02 times the price of your product, okay? Again, your income equals the number of subscribers that you have on your email list times 0.02% times the price of your product. So why 0.02%? because it's common for about one to 3% of your email list to purchase your products, okay? So I took the average of 2% right in the middle, okay? And you might say only 2% convert? Yes, only 2% on average are going to convert into sales. And this is why you need to continuously be promoting your content and driving new traffic to your email list so you're getting new subscribers okay which is going to allow you to then promote and get in front of a fresh set of um, people and you also need to make note that it takes about seven times for people to be exposed to something before they dive in i've had people on my list for years that have not purchased from me until just a couple of months ago so let's break down the numbers you need to know your numbers so if you have a $100 product and you want to earn $10,000 a month, you now know that you are going to need 5,000 subscribers to hit your goal, okay, at the 2% conversion rate, okay, and if you have a $100 product. So if you have a $1,000 product, you are only going to need about 500 subscribers to hit your income goal. So when you have a formula like this, obviously you can work the numbers and you can know what it is that you need to do. But what if you're having trouble actually growing that email list of yours? Okay, let's chat a little bit about that. Why are email lists so important? Okay, regardless of what industry that you're in, your email list connects you with people who are already interested in your products and services. And for me, my email list has been the number one way that I have driven profits into my business. Okay, you own your list. So when you hear me talking about building your email list, I want you to understand the importance and why it should be a top priority for you as well. Okay, so, let's me, um, so let me walk you through a few email list building strategies that I have used, particularly in the last 12 months that have really helped me to consistently create five-figure months in my business. Okay, number one, you need to get people on your list. And to do that, you have to constantly be promoting your content and inviting people to subscribe. You can't be afraid to tell people what you want them to do next, okay? This is what is called selling. You have to be able to sell and be comfortable with selling, okay? And even if you're not comfortable with selling, sell anyways, okay? So when you see a commercial, you always hear them give instructions on what to do next. Grab a Coke, head on over to your local dealership, try our new recipe. You have to do the same in your business in your social media posts, in your live streams, in your videos, your guest blog posts. Whenever you give content, you should at least ask your readers or your viewers to reciprocate by signing up or taking some action that gives you another opportunity to get your products and services in front of them. Okay, you guys got that? You have to market to make money. 
okay so number two you want to make it super easy super simple for people to sign up okay whether that is adding a link in your description box adding a link in your social media bio or strategically placing opt-in boxes on your blog make it easy make it simple for people to get the opportunity to sign up if they have to search through you know high and low on your blog just to find a subscribe now button people don't have time for that make it easy put it right there in front of their face where they can easily see it front and center and you will get more conversions okay now let's talk about the places where you can actually add a call to action on your site okay on your blog in particular you want to add it above the fold you want to add it on your home page you want to add a call to action in your navigation bar like your menu bar Okay, you can add call to actions in the sidebar of your blog post, in your um, post itself. Okay, so like I add content upgrades or I add links actually within the text of the content that people can click on that leads to a um, lead page or a um, opt-in box where people can sign in and subscribe. Okay, at the end of a post, I have a opt-in box, a static opt-in box. And then you also want to make sure that you have some type of call to action within your about me page because that is one of the most uh, frequented um, pages on your blog site so you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of that and then you also want to have um, a pop-up now some people are adverse to um, pop-ups I've used them um, at times in the past, I'm going to be using them or implementing them again in um, 2018 very heavily because it's something that can really allow you to um, capture um, people right then and there. Okay. Now, the next thing that you want to do, step number three, is you want to give people something that they really want. Okay. There are a million and one blogs out there and the competition is thick. Regardless of what niche, people are on the internet. People are um, entrepreneurs. They're becoming entrepreneurs. They know the value of being able to share information and people are out there trying to get theirs, okay? The competition is thick. You have to be willing to get creative, to step outside the box and to do something um, a little bit different. You have to give a little bit more in some instances to really capture people's attention. Okay, so you want to offer an opt-in um, incentive or freebie that is compelling and it converts well. And this is why it's important to know your numbers, knowing what converts and what's not converting. Okay, if you know what's working for your audience, what they like, what they respond to, then all you need to do is create more of what those people like. It is really simple, you guys. So free challenges, mini courses, um, interviews or like podcast interviews, audios, video series are all great ways to add value. So this is what I want you to do. Okay, add this to your list of to do's. I hope you guys are taking notes. You want to add more opt in forms to your blog. Okay, for real, add more opt in forms to your blog. So we talked about the different places where you can add opt in boxes and lead pages. Okay, I just gave you eight places where you can do that. Okay, number two, you want to find five to 10 of your most popular posts and you want to repin them on Pinterest. Okay, so we're going back to our number one traffic driving platform and I want you to um, start leveraging it. Okay, go back, find five to 10 of your most popular posts. If you have not started blogging yet or you don't have five to 10 um, posts, take the posts that you have or write some posts take those posts that you have and what you want to do is you are going to create a content upgrade or an opt-in incentive to these blog posts okay meaning you're going to create a checklist you're going to create a challenge an e-course and then you're going to create a pinnable image and a content upgrade box that you can embed within that post and the next thing that I want you to do is you're going to repin those posts to Pinterest. You're going to also share them on Facebook. You're going to share them on Twitter and you're going to share them on your other social media sites. Okay. You have to leverage the power 
of social media you can also leverage the power of video so youtube as well to draw people in remember people consume content in different ways and not everyone that is in your particular ideal audience is going to be on facebook they might be on instagram or they might be hanging out on youtube so you want to make sure that you're hitting all of the different social media platforms okay not everybody wants to read a blog post or listen to a podcast so you can use video as an alternative as a way to attract those people who like to watch and learn or be entertained or educated visually okay so do these simple things you guys and I promise you, you are going to see a huge, huge difference in your traffic, in your email list, in your sales. So the next thing that I wanna do is I want to talk to you about what to do when actually, um, when people actually get on your list. Okay, the worst thing that you can do is, number one, sell, sell, sell to your list, or get a ton of people on your list and not sell at all, <laughs> okay? Don't do those two things. In my opinion, you have to get people to become invested in you and with you before you actually see them invest in you. Okay, I'll say that again. You have to get people to become invested in you, okay, you as a coach, you as a person, you as a blogger, before they will actually invest in you. So it is critical to nurture your list properly. Okay, so let people know you are a human first, that you are real, and that you actually care about them. Okay, you're not just some sales machine that just wants to suck up all their money. So I make myself very accessible. Okay, I invite people to, to email me. I reach out when they have questions and I respond within hours. Okay, not days, not weeks but within hours of receiving an email because I want people to know that I'm not here just to take your money. I am here to help you to become a better person and a better business owner and that I am invested in helping guide you through that. So if you have a question, I always make people feel comfortable emailing me and um, being able to reach out to me and having a kind of open door policy. So how do you actually nurture your email list? Okay, you wanna share your personal stories and experiences. Okay, share what works, share what doesn't. Be transparent, okay? Like I said, open up your inbox. You can't be afraid to talk to people that you claim you're trying to help. These are small things that make all the difference and can really be the determining factor on if someone decides to buy from you or not. Okay, your emails should be value first, pitch second, okay, selling second. You don't wanna be so aggressive that you drive people away, but you also don't wanna be the one who never sells anything. I was like that for a very long time. I just was giving away content, giving away content, free content, but I was never selling. I was never promoting anything. So therefore, I was never making any money okay so you want to make sure that you're serving your audience because look if you're not promoting to them if you're not inviting them to level up to learn more to get the information that they need to be better you're actually really not serving them okay you're not you're you're doing yourself a disservice and you're doing your audience a disservice okay and you're not serving them in the way that they need to be served so when you're selling if you are truly giving value you do not want to be ashamed or be um, scared to share that value and to share it at a price okay so you want to make sure that you're in emailing often you want to make sure that you're accessible okay this creates engagement and like i said give value first okay don't be afraid to sell you want to share your secrets okay so those are the ways that you're going to nurture your email list now the last pillar okay we've gotten to pillar number five that you need to um, establish going into 2018 so lastly i want to talk to you about setting up your systems okay and really multiplying in particular your profits with what is called a tripwire okay a tripwire sales funnel okay automated sales funnel that will allow you to really capitalize on all the traffic and the hard work 
that you are doing to grow your email list. Okay, so not only do you need a money-making sales funnel, you need a working sales funnel that can multiply your profits on autopilot, okay? Your funnels, your blog, your social media status updates, and your webinars are all a part of your brand and they are all working on your behalf to take people from free to pay. So please make sure that your systems are working properly. Make sure that your links are pointing to the right product pages or sales pages. Make sure that your downloads are actually downloading and make sure that your automated emails are actually automating, okay? You never know when someone in your audience is going to get hot and be ready to buy. So you wanna make sure that you are ready to deliver, okay? Now, many times a person is going to be hottest. So just keep this in mind. Um, a lot of times people are going to be hottest on you when they first sign up okay they are excited about getting your freebie or your content upgrade and they are in an engaged mindset so it makes sense to take advantage of this emotional high and see if you can convert your new subscriber into a paid customer okay the best way to do this in my opinion is with a tripwire offer or a one-time offer Okay, so again, we mentioned this earlier, but just to refresh your memory, a tripwire is a really awesome one-time offer, okay? It is a low-ticket, uh, special one-time offer that you pitch right after someone opts into your sales funnel or your email list. So instead of them going through um, to your thank you page or just getting some type of um, download delivery of the freebie, First, they are going to be sent to an upsell or a, a one-time offer page, okay? And this is a sales page that offers something for sale at a discounted price, okay? A tripwire can range anywhere from a dollar to $500, depending on the niche and the industry, okay? So let me walk you through how to actually set this up for yourself so you can see um, what you need to do to be able to replicate this in your own business. So when you are setting up your sales funnel or your tripwire um, one-time offer, there are three pages that you need to create, okay? Make sure that you have. Number one, you need to have a one-time offer page with a countdown timer preferably, okay? This is a page that, um, again, you immediately redirect your new subscriber to after they opt in to receive your freebie. So instead of the thank you page or sending them back to your website, they opt in and they immediately see a sales page or a one-time offer page, okay? These are the things that you're going to want to have on your one-time offer page. You want to have an irresistible and enticing offer, okay? You want to have a uh, quick personal video, maybe a, um, a preview of uh, what is in the actual product, whether it's an ebook or um, a course. You also want to have the countdown timer. Okay, I use a product called Deadline Funnels and it's $37 a month. Um, they have a 14 day trial and then they also have some larger plans that have some additional features. Um, another option if you want to ball on a budget is called um, Countdown Dynamite plugin. Okay, it's a plugin for WordPress and I think it's like nine or ten dollars um, just to download that plugin and it will be well worth the small investment if Deadline Funnels is um, too expensive for your taste. Okay, you also want to make sure that you have a buy now button. Okay, obviously, if you want somebody to take advantage of your one time offer, you got to have a button or a link that they, that they can click that they can click that will take them to um, a checkout or a, um, a shopping cart. Okay, and then you can optional have an opt out button okay like a no thanks i'm cool or if they click this button you can redirect them back to the actual original download page or thank you page which will have a link for them to access their freebie or instructions on how to access it okay got it okay the next page that you're going to need is a sales page with a full price product offering okay this is your special offer sales page or your checkout page 
Okay, you also want this to be synced in with your countdown timer as well. So if someone decides to take you up on your offer and they hit the buy now button, which will um, redirect them to your special offer sales page, or you can send them straight to say a PayPal um, checkout page where they can make their purchase. So have whatever's easiest. So this page is going to be the same as your paid sales page, except the price will be at a heavily discounted price. Okay, remember you wanna make it something irresistible that people um, feel is low risk, but they can come in and they can grab, feel like they stole something essentially. They can grab up um, a product at a discounted price that they're probably never gonna see again. So here is, um, let me just show you an example really quickly. Okay, so, this is um, the page that people are going to be redirected to for the one-time offer. And you can see here, they're getting this bundle for $27 where the original price is $147. Okay, so this is the original price. And obviously it's at a deep, deep discount, 82% off the original price. And typically there's going to be a countdown timer, but because this offer, this promo has expired and I've clicked on it a bunch of times already, so it's linked to like my email address and to my, um, my actions, it does not show the countdown timer. But typically there's gonna be a countdown, countdown timer that scrolls the um, at the bottom and scrolls the width of the page. That's going to let you know how much more time you have to take advantage of this offer. So if people decide that they want to buy it, they're going to actually click the button, okay? And then it's going to take them to a, um, a checkout page where they can put in their information and they can actually purchase it. And originally I had this set for 24 hours, but the promo can be 15 minutes if you want it to be. You can extend um, the countdown timer or your offer to five days or even two weeks. So it just depends. But the more urgency that you create, so they feel like, oh my gosh, I have to buy this now, then the more um, conversions you are going to get, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're um, creating urgency as well. So like I said, I, dip, I typically discount anywhere between 60 and 80%. It depends on how aggressive I wanna get. My recommendation is that you actually split test and see how things convert. So if a 40% discount converts about the same as a 50 or 60% discount, then stick with the 40% so that your profit margins are higher. So if you don't have a product yet, then you can um, use an affiliate product. So don't let this stop you from making your money. The only drawback to selling an affiliate is that since it's not your product, you can't really offer an additional discount. You might be able to um, offer an added incentive Okay, so if someone purchases the affiliate product through your own um, affiliate link, okay, that you provide on your one-time offer page, you will send them, say, some exclusive freebie or allow them to access um, your private Facebook group or give them some type of additional bonus of some sort. Okay, make sure to choose a product that your audience will like and that relates to the freebie that they just signed up for. Okay, it will be a little bit weird um, and it may be a little bit out of left field if your reader signs up for, say, 101 ways to make a green smoothie and then they get a one time offer for a blogging ebook. OK, so to make sure that your conversions are as high as possible, choose a product that works well within your niche. So when people land on your sales page, they are going to do one of two things. They're going to buy or they're going to leave. So the way that the deadline um, countdown timer works is that if the timer expires before they actually buy, this special offer will actually disappear and then they're going to be just simply redirected to the original um, full price offer sales page. Okay, or you can redirect them to the thank you page. So on my thank you page, you can um, include a quick snippet. So this is a thank you page. Okay, so it just has a quick snippet of um, how they can access the freebie that they signed up for. So mine just tells them that it's in their inbox and go ahead and check it. And you can even include um, here a list of some other popular products or related products that you may want to sell. 
and you always want to be selling you guys so any opportunity that you have um, to convert a sale so they may not have liked the offer for the 365 day blog plan but they may want the 365 day blog journal or something like that so you can list that here and it just gives them another opportunity to purchase and then you can see here though that I have um, them you can see here I have a call to action redirecting them to my Facebook group okay okay so these are the three pages that you have here you have the sales page with a special offer you have your sales page with your full price offer which people will be um, redirected to or will pop up when um, the special offer or one-time offer expires and then you have a thank you page which is optional okay so sometimes when people actually opt into things they're quick to you know run and go check their emails or they get distracted with other things so one of the things that you can do is you can double back and you can add this one-time offer in the welcome follow-up email that all of your new subscribers get so when they opt in they're going to get um, a welcome email within that welcome email you can have a call to action that invites them to take advantage of the offer and then when they click that link they're going to they are going to be taken to the special offer um, sales page and when that link expires it will redirect them to the full price product offering and they won't see the special offer anymore okay so there you go you guys um, I know that it was a lot to go through and to start setting up but if you have um, time start now so you want to make sure that you have everything set up in a way that's going to allow you to truly maximize your profits okay so the next steps come up with three to four product ideas that support your brand your audience and your profit goals okay i want you to outline your key products and set your price points are you a Maserati? Are you a Mercedes? Are you a Mazda? Okay, and then take time to do some spiritual maintenance for your blog. Make sure that you're cleaning up your blog, that you have the right calls to actions in the right places. Make sure that your content is um, focused on the specific types of people in the audience that you want to attract. So make sure that your branding is on point on your blogs. The next thing that I want you to do is begin to map out a traffic and list building plan that gets your numbers up, okay? You need the right people and you need the right products to be able to generate the right type of income. Next, you want to set up multiple tripwire funnels or one-time offers that are related to the products that you are going to be selling okay number five related to number one okay you want to make sure that you set these up so that you are able to capture and convert your free content people who are looking for free content and convert that into cash and then the last thing that i want you to do is i want you to get into the mindset of selling you can have one flagship product but you need to make sure that your focus is on promoting and selling that bad boy every single day so get comfortable with being able to promote your products you have something that's very special to share you have content that needs to get out there in the world that can really help and transform people's lives and you want to make sure that you're doing your part in putting it in front of the right people okay